I'm here with uh, Mike Fries, President and CEO of Liberty Global. Mike, Liberty Global has been strongly in favour of uh, the UK remaining within the European Union. Now that obviously has gone the other way. What impact is that vote going to have on Liberty Global, both in the UK and internationally? Well, as you know, uh, initially no impact at all. I think consumers are still buying broadband, consumers are still excited about our video products, so there's really no impact whatsoever. And for now, until who knows when, there's a bit of volatility and some concern around what it might mean to consumers and what it might mean to markets. And from that point of view, you know, we're uh, like everybody else, waiting to see what happens. It's not impacting our business in Europe, of course, which is stable and the same. So uh, uh, we're like everyone else. We're sort of in a wait and see mode. I think it'll take a bit of time for the politics and the process to unfold. And uh, the good news is that we sell services that people want regardless of, uh, of what's happening around them from a regulatory point of view. So we think we're in good shape. Okay. Now we heard a lot this morning about some of the threats fa facing the cable industry. For example, the changing habits of millennials. They're going to watch TV on different devices or they're not going to watch TV at all. How can cable stay relevant for that audience and what do you need to do to ensure Well, the I think for starters you can watch our products on any device. Mm. So the number one thing we've done is make our, our channels, our video available on any and all devices. Uh, you know, that's, and that's, that's highly relevant to consumers, to millennials, to any age group. Uh, secondly, we're offering them the best content available. So we're ensuring that whether it's a movie or some series or kids content or sports, if you, if you subscribe with us, you get it all. So you get it all on any device in multiple formats. I'm not sure what's better than that. Okay. Now, Liberty Global is in the middle of a transformation project. Liberty Go, you're sort of reorganizing your company and you're also focusing on innovation such as Project EOS, your new set-top box. What are the goals of this project and where will it take you as a company once it's... Well, once it's seen trying it to be more deliberate about the next few years and maybe we have been. We've made a lot of acquisitions. We've been quite busy. Uh, in terms of putting businesses together. So we're trying to make sure that it, it beyond just the specific synergies that we realize in a one-off deal, that we're looking at the group as a whole and we're finding opportunities to drive efficiencies across the platform, cross Opco, cross, cross Central Group, but most importantly, driving revenue. So looking really deliberately at B2B, mobile, new build activity like we're doing in the UK, how we price our products, driving market share. So, and Liberty Go, Go is really just uh, a manifestation of all that great work and thinking in one long range plan. Yeah. Now, there's been a lot of talk about convergence within the industry, in particular fixed and mobile. What do you, how do you view convergence as in terms of its relative importance to Liberty Global? And what do you need to do to try and put the mobile side of the play yeah. together with what you've already got? I think consumers inevitably want ubiquitous connectivity, seamless ubiquitous connectivity. We uh, are the best at fixed connectivity, all of which is distributed in a wireless way in your home. 70% of the time, whether you're on a smartphone or not, you're using our Wi-Fi networks. Uh, but we also want to make sure we're capturing that other 30% of the time when you're outside the home, not on a Wi-Fi network, but using a mobile network. So for us, it's a natural thing. To, if you're in the connectivity business, you want to be in all of those areas. So that's inevitable for us. Um, we're highly invested and highly focused on it, and uh, so far, so good. How well placed do you think cable is against the big internet companies, the Googles, the Facebooks, the, we heard this morning about the GAFAs, um, to make sure that you own the home in the future and facilitate consumers well, I think it's a partnership media. we're enabling these companies to exist by providing 100 megabit 200 megabit 300 megabit broadband speeds and soon a gig so I think in the end it's a it's a partnership almost uh, we're not going to do what Google does we're not going to do what YouTube does but they're not going to do what we do near not nearly as well if ever so I think it's far more collaborative than people like to suggest and uh, and that future looks good to me Mike thanks very much my pleasure Thank <laughs> you.